Hey, what's up? It's Jake from Texas. Today I am installing a 1500 watt Krager power inverter with an auto transfer switch in the RV so that I can run my computer monitors off of solar power for no reason other than to do it. So, of course, this came from Amazon like everything else. Inside the box is this guy. It comes with a battery cable with a uh, ginormous fuse, which hopefully never trips. It comes with the remote panel, which is why I bought this particular one. Negative cable, of course. And instructions. And then I bought this Xantrax Pro Watt 15 amp transfer switch to go along with it. I thought I was already untaped, but I guess not. And this is basically what it looks like. Pretty, uh, pretty simple. So the plan here will be to take this wire, which is the 15 amp for the outlets, wire it in with this one to send to the transfer switch. And then coming back from the transfer switch will be this one, uh, giving me power uh, when I need it. All right, so uh, here we are underneath. I uh, always hate working under here because it's so tight. And it's not even under here. It's just in the front cargo compartment. Um, so I'm going to mount this. This in the inverter. Um, I don't actually know where because the cables are shorter than I had, uh, had anticipated. But that's okay. Um, I'm going to mount it probably about right here. That way, this cable can reach that battery. Uh, this should reach also in the negative with uh, no problem. Also, there is a, uh, a, a stud right there, which uh, helps out in the whole screw situation as well. All right, so now that that's up, next step is to connect the power, which is always fun. It's super oily down here um, because my chainsaw leaked all over the place. All right, so now we'll turn it on. Wait, that's off. That's on. And there we go. That's it not been too exciting so we'll turn it back off for now so we will mount the uh, inverter switch right here well over a little more so that it's long enough to reach or maybe right here i don't know we'll see Okay, that fits. All right, now we're gonna take this box and mount it right here. As soon as I find my bit. I lost my magnetic one and this is all I got, so. Okay, 
All right, we'll do these one at a time so I don't get them confused. This is not my marked wire. So we will have that one come through here. So this is the connect to power supply, such as utility power. Next one is the marked wire. Which is connect to AC load only here. Okay. Now all there is left to do here under here at least. Tighten these up. And put the cover on. All right, so here we are back inside. I am going to make sure your power's off, of course. So the purple, well, in this case, black. This is my load that I have to hook these up to. Which is this one. So for these I'm cheating, I got these easy clip wire nuts. So we will just tuck that back under there. And then this is the AC power, which uh, I won't be able to really test out since I'm not hooked up to anything at the moment. I shorted myself a little bit here on the inside on the wire, but I can make it work. All right. Last step is to put in the remote switch, which is going to go right over here. And right in here is the wire for the switch, which I secretly already ran. All right, now we go back outside to hook the remote switch in, plug it in, and then uh, fire it up. So this is the other end of that wire from inside, which plugs in right behind the negative for the ground, I guess. Somehow. I should have plugged it in first. Now, all we're going to do is plug this in, turn this back on, and while I'm down here, I'll turn the battery back on, the solar charge back on. So right now, I'm pulling in 16 amps, my battery's 14 volts, that's on, and now it looks like my 
computer is coming back to life, sort of. My laptop already runs off of a 12 volt inverter. Gotta go through it to start up. So that works. The TV works. So the next thing to check will be the amperage of the inverter to see actually how much power it's drawing. All right, so right now we're pulling about six and a half amps of 12 volt, which it's a little bit higher than I expected, but I think that will end up being just fine. So in true GoPro fashion, my battery died right at the end, which is not unusual. So, so far, the power inverter has been working great. Uh, when my laptop's all plugged in with monitors on, it pulls about 5 amps which is what it was doing before uh, when it was running off the way I had it set up. So no big deal there. It is pretty great just to be able to push a button and shut everything off and push a button and turn everything back on and not have to plug the TV on, unplug the TV, move the inverter and all that other fun stuff. So uh, the only thing I have to do now is adjust the refrigerator. It's wired into the same circuit. So when the inverter's on, it's powering the refrigerator, which I don't want it to do that. That can either run off gas or if I'm plugged into regular power, uh, run off of that. So otherwise, everything's working great. Uh, hopefully you found this useful. See you later.